What? What? And we're back. Another episode of Does It Bite? Um, we are having so much fun with this podcast. <laughs> Michael, you are the best. Uh, my wife begs to differ. <laughs> We have been um, we have been for weeks now talking about all things bugs and pests, mm -hmm. uh, particularly in West Texas. Uh, I love that we're calling it "Does It Bite" because mm -hmm. we've been able to either tell the biting truth about a pest or literally talk about their bites. Yeah. Today we want to talk about cockroaches, and although they don't bite per se. Um, it's still, they're still a pretty nasty pest to have in the home, and yeah. they may not bite humans, but um, they like to be where the food is in the kitchen, right? Yeah, and, and you know, they can bite. We like to say anything with a mouth can bite. Okay. So they can, oh, I'm they just be using don't. that again. Yeah. Anything with a mouth can bite. <laughs> yeah. uh, but cockroaches, there's lots of different kinds of cockroaches. Right. Mm -hmm. Super hard to kill. Um, and we can talk about that in a minute because I've yeah. read some really interesting things on that. But we really want to talk about German cockroaches today okay. mm -hmm. because that is what we see most commonly uh, in West Texas, the Panhandle, Eastern New Mexico, and what we get a lot of calls on. Right. So talk to us a little bit about the German cockroach. Okay. Well, the German cockroach is actually the most common cockroach. Okay. Even though it's not found outside, they're so numerous inside okay. they All reproduce right. so fast that their numbers exceed faster than any other cockroach wow because they reproduce those egg capsules you know once a week with 25 babies in it you know that's just one female if you have four females that's 100 babies a week that's being hatched out and then they become females and then the population just doubles and doubles and doubles. So that's where they're the most common cockroach in the United States right now. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. And so um, they are a pest, a big pest. Yes. And when you get them, you get a lot of them. So how do you know, how do you know if you've got a, a German cockroach problem? Okay, so the German cockroach is pretty uh, easy to identify. Okay. So you know, you have your quote unquote water bugs, which is the American cockroach. Okay. And then you have the oriental roach. Now, these are just the roaches that we find here in West Texas. Um, and then you have the oriental roach, then you have the uh, brown bandit roach, and then you have the field roaches and things like that. Oh my gosh, so many, who knew? Yeah, but the German is really easy to identify. Are they big? No, they're actually a pretty small roach. Okay. They're probably about maybe an inch to an inch and a half long. Okay. They're a beige, light tan color, okay. but they are easily identifiable because of the two black stripes that run down the backs of the roach okay. from head to toe, two black stripes, and they move really fast. They are nocturnal. They come out mostly at night. Now, if you start seeing German roaches during the day, that means they're being pushed out of their hiding place because of the numbers. Okay. So you start seeing roaches during the day, that means the infestation level has gotten pretty high because they are nocturnal. You know, you come going to your kitchen and go get a drink of water at 3 o'clock in the morning, flip the light on. Uh, I've... I know, I have so many pest stories. Yeah. Um, years ago, we lived in a house, and uh, I remember walking in through the garage utility room to the kitchen, turning the light on, and having that exact same thing happen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I didn't think I was a pesty person. Yeah. But um, I've seen that before, and it is really disconcerting yeah. for a homeowner. Yeah. Any, you know, it's, they're kind of like the bed bug, they're really not a respecter of persons. They enjoy Thank you for that, <laughs> after I just told that story. Thank you. They enjoy a more dirty home because it gives them more food. Sure. But they can still be in a clean home. Yeah. I mean, we've done plenty of very nice big houses that have German roach issues. It's because they are hitchhikers as well, okay. just like the bed bug. Okay. You know, they, don't, they won't come in from the outside. We get so many calls from a lot of people that says, my neighbor moved out. Or we had these people move in next door, and they brought roaches with them. Usually, ro German roaches will not go from house to house like that. Okay. Now, they can go from apartment to apartment or duplex to duplex because they have adjoining walls. But from separated house to detached house, they usually don't move that way. They are great hitchhikers. Okay. So they hitchhike on your clothes. They can hitchhike on your your uh, purse, your bag. They can hitchhike on boxes. You know, a lot of restaurants get 
German roaches because of the boxes that they get. They lay their eggs. They lay their eggs in the boxes. They do that in boxes and I the old paper grocery bags yes. that nobody ever uses anymore. Yes. But I remember not storing those inside. You never yep. wanted to because they had roach eggs in them. Yep. We were always told. And, and those egg capsules can hatch out. Yeah. And then, you know, German roaches can have up to 25 roaches in that egg, in that wow. egg capsule. So it, they hatch out and you have 25 bugs right then and there. Wow. So, yeah, it can so, reproduce. So roaches don't really bite humans. We've talked about that. Yeah. But they, they really are a danger, can be a danger yes. to humans. Mm -hmm. So yes, here's what I have. Here's my research. Cockroaches spread at least 33 kinds of bacteria, six kinds of parasitic worms, and at least seven other kinds of human pathogens. Yeah. Isn't that cool? That is nasty. <laughs> so, you know, it, so roaches are really more than gross. I have a bug in my house. Yeah, yeah, they can be a health issue. Definitely be a health issue. You know, because their feces can also cause um, asthma problems. Really, breathing problems. Okay. You know, um, so especially German roaches, they can cause a pretty bad health issue in a home if they're not taken care of. All right. So how do you take care of a, how do you take care of German roaches? Because you don't treat them like you treat just no, any roach. You cannot treat that. Um, we could get into some technical things, but the German roach is different from other roaches okay. because they can actually filter out pesticide. They can filter out pesticides. So a lot of the pesticides that we like use... Like biologically, it right, won't harm them. Right. It just goes straight through the system and goes right back out. Huh. So um, uh, other pests, other roaches, Americans, Oriental, ants, and all that stuff, they absorb the chemical through their skin. Okay. It's a neuro It could be a neurology... Neurolog my Neurological. Thing. That's what. That's the word. See, that's why they got you here. But anyway, uh, <laughs> it can affect their their nervous system. Yeah, it can yeah. affect their stomachs. You know, cause their stomach to explode. Whatever the chemical does. But the German roach could take that same chemical. It'll go through his body, and he'll just flush it out. Okay. So what we have to do is study. I know that's weird. You just kill stuff, Michael. No, we really have to study. Because this behavior and the biological way of this roach, we have to know how it works. Okay. If we don't know how it works, then it's not going to be effective. Our treatment will not be effective. So a lot of people kind of laugh at me because I do this. But we literally study these things. And we figure out what's going on. What? Why are they not dying when we put the chemical down? So we did our studies and we found out that these guys filter out pesticide. So how do we stop that? Mm -hmm. So we actually have a chemical cocktail that we have to use, okay? So we have to use the killer. We have to use a transfer agent. We have to use a IGR, which is an insect growth regulator. We have to use a PBO, which is a... Um, enhancer of a chemical, of the killer chemical, okay. to get into the roach and not let the roach be able to release it. And you have to have a degree in chemistry? No, you just have to, you just have to be, you know, you just it's, have to be, you know, me, me, that's it, you know, but no. But you, it is really technical yes. and you have to understand because you're dealing with a cocktail of chemicals that you want to be effective with the pest, mm -hmm. but they have to be safe for homeowner, for right. pets, for kids, to right. use in food areas. Right. So right. um, that you're sort of hugging a fine line. That's right. And, you know, a lot of the chemicals that are involved are somewhat volatile. That means they kind of float oh. on the air. So we have to be careful where we put the chemical, yeah. how we mix the chemical, where we apply the chemical, how much we apply. Okay. So that's why you hire uh, us to know all this so we could get that problem taken care of because German roaches are extremely hard to get rid of. Well, extremely roaches hard. in general, in fact, I read that you can chop off a roach's head and he can still live for a week without a head. That's crazy. Did you know, also, I'm just going to say one more thing because yeah, I okay. think they're fascinating, even though my skin day. is always already crawling. <laughs> they can also hold their breath underwater for as many as 40 minutes. Really? Like, they are hard to kill. Yeah, and that's why they say after a nuclear explosion yeah roaches are the only thing left roaches are the only thing left that's yeah. it that's it so they're extremely hard to kill so not only are we putting out a chemical cocktail we're also putting out igr pads which is a pheromone that goes into the air okay. that the roaches breathe in that way they can go into the next level of the reproduction stage oh. um, we're also putting out baits that has a transfer agent in it we're putting out bait stations we're putting out insecticidal dust german roaches have to have all that in order for us to take care of the problem. Okay. A lot of people think we can go out and spray and pray. 
We just gonna spray, spray and pray. pray. Yeah, we gonna spray <laughs> and pray that we get them. It doesn't that, that it doesn't work like that. There is a science behind what we okay. do. So can you get them in one one treatment, or is this a process? It's a process. Okay. You know, you can if you're very lucky. Um, if the population level hasn't got high enough. Okay. So you're, you, if you're going after, you know, one to ten roaches, they're all adults or they're all nymphs that haven't reached reproductive stage, you could probably get them in one treatment. But most of the jobs that we get is where the population is high. You know, yeah. we're looking at roaches up in the corner of the house. We're looking at roaches coming out the stove, out of the microwave. Really? Stuff like that, yes. Yes, they hide in all those places because they're warm. They're, the electrical, the electricity that flows through it creates warmth. So they have food in there. There's grease that they eat on in the stove and the oh. microwave. The the moisture and the heat behind the refrigerator. They love that. They love refrigerators. I t- I can't tell you how many times we pull a refrigerator like out. Like not inside the refrigerator. Yes. But, oh, inside. Where inside it's cold? the refrigerator. They could go in there too as well. They could get into the gasket that actually closes the. And they're just eating they're just, food just in chilling. your refrigerator. They're just chilling. Literally, Literally. chilling Chillin'. in the refrigerator. Yeah. <laughs> this actually may be the grossest episode we've had to date. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it, you know, German roaches are awesome because Brett and I, my service manager, uh-huh. we did one. And there were so many German roaches in that place. And the kitchen was about, from me to you, uh-huh. that wide. Okay. So it was very small and it had cabinets everywhere. Brett and I are both, and I'm, I'm not a small guy. You know, I'm not a small guy at yeah. all. And we're in this kitchen together. And we're up here baiting and doing all this stuff. And roaches are literally flying out, like kamikaze Like jump, landing on you? Landing on us. They're, they're in our clothes. They're on our hats. I literally saw one crawling underneath my hat. Um, they were everywhere. I mean, it was really bad. So once me, uh, Brent and I left, we actually pulled off to the side of the road and like basically took everything off. Checked our belts, checked our phones, checked our boots, checked our clothes, because they can hitchhike. Like I said, they're a great hitchhiker. They can hide underneath your collar not or your shirt. Not real afraid of no. people, are they? No, they're, they're not. Once they get that many, that's yeah. it was fun. disgusting. Yeah, Brett and I still talk about it. <laughs> so what should somebody do if they think they have cockroaches? Call us. Yeah. As soon as possible, yeah. because the reproduction rate of a German cockroach is extremely high. Okay. You want to get it to where it's low, because if not, then there's multiple treatment after multiple treatment to try to get this done. As soon as you find out that you might have it, give us a call. We'll and winter, summer, spring, and it fall. It does not matter. Yeah. Because you're They're hardy, hardy animals. That's it. They love it. Yeah. They love it inside your home. Okay. Well, mm-hmm. thanks, Michael. No, this no was, problem. Um, really eye-opening and really terrifying at yeah. the same time. Yeah. But uh, if you, you sure you don't want another story? Yeah. I can tell a whole lot of German Roach stories. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah, yeah I'm done. Okay. <laughs> I'm I understand. Done. <laughs> no. But thank you. So yes, German ma'am. Roaches, um, if you think you might have them, let us know. We'll post some pictures uh, to help you identify them. But that is not something, it sounds like you can tackle on your own very well. They're super hard to kill and um, they can be really dangerous. So mm-hmm. thanks for another episode of Does It Bite? No problem. Happy to be here. And we'll see you next week. Mm-hmm.